and they really enjoy singing. And I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of Amazons are like this. La 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 la. Hello my fellow snippers, flighters, and hatchlings, those of you who are new to my channel. My name is Marlene McCohen. This is Leo. We want to welcome you to our channel. If you don't know anything about birds, welcome. And if you love birds, welcome. And if you love animals and don't know anything about birds, welcome to the channel. Today, I thought I would do a little bit of a different topic, but kind of interesting to me. And I hope you guys find it interesting as well, because I realized in my experience with birds and, and having different kinds of birds my entire life and working with and training lots of birds, I noticed that certain species of parrots have their own characteristics, not necessarily that every bird of that species has, but things that are like, that is interesting even for a bird or special for a bird, but then on top of that, it's even more interesting that I've seen multiple birds of that species be this way. First of all, before we go on, don't forget to hit that notification bell because a lot of you are asking me if I stopped YouTube. I did not stop YouTube. You're just not getting the notification. So hit the bell. Don't forget to subscribe. Make me happy today. Make Leo's beautiful eyes very happy. Before I go on, I need you guys to know that these are interesting traits that let's take 100 Amazons. Maybe only two of them do this, but the two of them that do it, it's interesting enough that in all the times that I've seen this kind of behavior, it is with Amazon if that makes any sense. Okay, let's get into it and then maybe I'll just kind of like go into fine details of what I mean within the video. The first and most interesting thing that I have discovered about Amazons. This odd relationship that I've seen quite a few of them have to children. If you don't know, this is a video of Leo with my friend's three-year-old. Leo regularly has play dates with children. Now what's very interesting and odd about this, generally I wouldn't wholeheartedly trust any single bird with kids. I mean, of course, if the kid grew up with the bird and the kid knows birds and, and is working with birds, fine, you know, especially like small birds, cockatiels, every situation is different. But for me to be able to let Leo play with a two-year-old and be very confident that he's not gonna bite her is rare for any bird. And the fact that Leo is like this with children is fascinating to me. Of course, now is the days of social media and I saw another Amazon. I think they have a really big following actually because I really enjoy their videos, but there's a little boy and he has an Amazon that just flies with him everywhere as he rides his little tricycle and again, it's it's not something that you may never see with any other bird, obviously, don't take my words in that way, but it's just something that is so mind-blowing because if you guys have birds, you know how you kind of always want to have like a large bird like this with a two or three-year-old, you'd really, really want to have some serious supervision. But Bella is only, she's not even three years old and she's been able to catch him and guide him and she puts him to bed. And what's even more interesting about this is it's not that he's the most delicate, gentle of birds. If I try to go near Bella or take Bella away from him, he gets angry. And that is why Bella learned to put him to bed because we were like, Bella, only you can put Leo to bed, okay? <laughs> because Leo is very protective over you. So it's very interesting because I've seen this trait in Leo, but also in another bird that I've seen on social media and a few other birds that I've seen in real life. I've seen them be really loving towards children. And it's especially fascinating when you hear what number two is. They seem to be fearless, okay? So for example, you would think because I have a lot of birds that naturally the largest bird, my macaw Rocky, would maybe be kind of like the bird that all the birds are scared of. Well, there is no rhyme or reason to like who is scared of who. It's the oddest thing. And overall, 
I noticed that Leo is just completely fearless. He's a fearless bird. And it's something that I seem to notice a lot in Amazons. They're just very strong and, you know, some of them can be very aggressive, which is kind of what's interesting about him being specifically able to understand not to play with kids in a certain way. Because for those of you who understand birds, you understand too that like, no matter how close you are with a bird, maybe you're taking your chances in certain ways. Maybe Maybe you know what you're about to do is going to annoy your bird and you're prepared for a bite and maybe you're not or maybe you haven't learned your bird yet but if you watch my video about my brother talking about his cockatoo he was basically saying that his cockatoo is not 100% unpredictable because after all of these years he learned all the little things that bother the bird right there's always a chance he could get bit with almost any bird it's just fascinating that like with all this ability he has to be aggressive he has an ability Ability to know to be completely different with children and with babies and once again you never want to trust like a bird 100% I'm always there I'm always supervising but it's just very fascinating to me and I've seen that like among like a few Amazons maybe not enough to conclude that this is popular among Amazons but what's interesting is how specific it seems to be because the multiple amounts of birds I've seen this way are Amazons use yes. yes number three Amazons are social talkers. Amazons are not afraid to show what they know and talk in front of people. And that's what's really amazing about them. But again, no bird is the same because Leo pretty much doesn't say anything besides his presidential speeches. And what's your policy on world peace? <laughs> What about saving the rainforests? He's also very quiet. He's just not a normal Amazon. So with all of these things, you can always have a bird that is completely different from the norm. They have their own personality and they are their own little beings. So no matter how much research you do on what you think might suit you, I think no matter what, you're gonna be faced with a ball of personality. And the fact that Amazons are social talkers, in general, when you watch YouTube and you watch little funny skits of Amazons or trainers bringing Amazon parrots onto TV shows, you'll notice that they just are great performers. They're not shy at all. And that's just like a trait that is kind of fun in an Amazon parrot. Which brings me to number four. Because they talk so well, they obviously have a lot of vocal capability. Well, it's always Amazons that you see singing on television. If you've ever seen on America's Got Talent or a guest on any of the late night talk shows, it's always Amazons that are the great singers. It just seems to me that they really pick up song well and they really enjoy singing. And I wouldn't be surprised if a lot lot of Amazons are like this. I mean, we know that Amazons are great talkers, but again, look at my Leo. He does not say a thing, but I love him so much. Oh. Okay, he doesn't say a word, honestly. He gives his speeches. And yeah, like I just noticed that, and I think you guys will start to notice now more, that when you see videos of birds singing, if it's not an African gray caught off guard on camera, usually it's an Amazon. And that is something just fascinating to me and something that I really enjoy. Number five about Amazons, which this is a little bit different from most of my other birds. Some of my birds have a little bit of this, but this is one way that Amazons really communicate their excitement, their fear, any kind of like emotion that they're having, even if they're enjoying something, you'll see that they pin their eyes. Rocky pins his eyes, my macaw, when he really enjoys something. But these guys will pin their eyes and they'll also fan their tail. It just sounds something that when you get an Amazon, you can learn a little bit about their behavior, but it might be confusing to some people because sometimes you might've learned that eye pinning is something that the bird really enjoys. And then the next time you see the eyes pin, the bird is like ready to 
you know, kind of pounce because the bird is annoyed. So generally, you just gotta be able to read the bird and they kind of fan their tail. Usually Leo does this when I uh, maybe sing to him a little bit. La, 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 la. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm a bird? A bird who has everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. See the eyes pin? He likes it. Who's it and what's its color? You want finger my bum? I've got 20, but who cares? No big deal, I want more. You see, so little things like that can make them very happy. Oh, hack, how to steal a kiss from a bird. I should do like hacks for you guys one day, okay? How to steal a sniff, ready? So those are five things that I noticed to be traits of some, but not all Amazons. So this is like literally an SAT test. It's like, do all Amazons sing? No, are most birds that sing Amazons? Yes. Do most birds love children? No. Are most birds that love children Amazons? Probably not most birds, probably a very small amount. It's just interesting. It's just things I want you to notice. Also, you might notice someone came up in the middle of this. Hi, jerseys, you're on camera. So those are the things I want you guys to know. Just talk about, think about, it's just interesting. I thought I'd just come on here, talk, chill, let you know like some things from my perspective that I find fascinating because obviously I don't own every single Amazon. There's gonna be a million things that are true or not true to that but just having one that's like really good with kids and by the way if I made a video on birds good for kids I would not put an Amazon on there so that's where it gets weird that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe check out my website parrotstation.com if you guys need any help with your birds check out Parrot Station the Facebook group hopefully there is somebody on there that can lend a little bit of experience to you or if you just want to come on and introduce your bird and say hey this is who it is. You could also check out my Facebook page, Marlene McCohen. I love you guys so much. I enjoy making these videos for you. Let me know that you love them as well. Enjoy this Pick Me Marlene submission. This is me sharing your birds that I just, I'm, I'm enjoying them so much. I'm enjoying watching them. I love it. Thank you guys so much. Bye. For today, my fellow snippers, this is a request by Marlene McCohen. There. Kiss my birds for her. I'm gonna do it now. By the way, don't forget if you guys are looking for an amazing bird food brand for your bird that is healthy, organic, and not full of food colorings and sugar and peanut smash, check out Marlene's signature blend. I did this along with Topps Parrot Food. I encourage you guys to check out my Feathered Fun Box. It's a passion project. It's a subscription box that comes with parrot toys for your bird and also special merch. Kind of like my dream box. Honestly, I put so much into it. I love that there's something like this for birds out in the world. That's why I created it, www.featheredfunbox.com. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for listening.